As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. I better find Dr. Meadow's car. into eternity like this but it feels like I'm stuck in a rut and just reliving the same endless night over and over again I feel genuinely touched by someone actually reaching out to me breaking the monotony I just want you to know that it really matters to me caller you're on the air you suck Eddie <clears throat> uh, did you know that uh, this is my dream job true fact When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. There are places where our world is worn thin and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington, but there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous. But in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality.
Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. <laughs> throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. 